The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and ebook format on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and sponsored by international award winning author Mia Mohsen Zia of Missing. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios and brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, International Warring out there, Mia Muslims they are missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We hear a terrific gentleman who's a renowned classical orchestral composer venturing into the realm of science fiction, inspired by Star Wars and Star Trek. He has a debut novel which immerses the uh, readers into a multi-dimensional uh, uh, crafted universe of its own kind and the beginning of a soon-to-be trilogy. And basically, it's an epic sci-fi saga. It takes place in its own universe and its harmony and chaos and takes you on discovery of uh, ancient prophecy from a bygone era and possibly change history itself. So what is it? We're going to find out in just one minute. Live, ladies and gentlemen, Plus Studios in uh, beautiful Scranton, Pennsylvania, somewhere outside of uh, that region. The renowned classical orchestra composer, now um, novelist, debuting his uh, new novel, Arconis, which is soon to be a trilogy. And uh, what's it about? We'll find out, ladies and gentlemen, with the multi-talented Jordan Rudy. Jordan, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me on board. I Appreciate that. What's well, great to have you on board as well, Jordan. So you're a renowned classical orchestra composer venturing into the realm of science fiction inspired by Star Wars and Star Trek. You have a debut novel which inverses the readers into a new meticulously crafty universe of its own kind and beginning a soon-to-be trilogy. It's basically a book called Arconis. It's an epic sci-fi saga which takes place in its own universe and there's harmony and chaos and takes you on a discovery where... It's basically an ancient prophecy from a bygone era and possibly change history itself. And how's that possible? We'll find out before getting all that. Jordan, tell us how I first got started. Um, well, for, I first got started by composing music when I was uh, very young. Uh, I've been composing most of my life, uh, you know, classical music, you know, inspired from John Williams, uh, Hans Zimmer, you know, my favorite composers. Um, and then ultimately I got the idea while composing one day to write a novel to go along with it because I love science fiction. I thought what could be something epic and meaningful that I could write this music to and marry them together. And that's where this all came together. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was that one precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing for the rest of your career? Yeah. So, uh, you know, for me it was, um, you know, I work in sales as my daytime job, trying to support myself and my family. But ultimately, you know, wanting to 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 be an author and get this out into the world and have you know show them, you know, the music and then the story that comes around, you know, around this novel in terms of how epic it can be and, and how emotional it can be in terms of the harmony and chaos that comes along with the story. Hmm. That's interesting. You said uh, it's basically uh, harmony in chaos, and uh, tell us more about that. What is harmony in chaos? Yeah. So in, you know, in the story, you know, between the protagonist and the antagonist, they both believe in a balance that has to be um, achieved in the universe itself. So kind of a, you know, harmony, I, I would, that is the way I call it, but the other, but the antagonist calls it chaos. So both of those are, are trying to achieve balance. And the question is whether it's going to achieve harmony or is it going to achieve chaos because they both believe in what they're doing it's just for different reasons mm -hmm. and, and how so are they different how does this uh, battle first start with harmony over chaos it's like you know how, how does the whole thing start right so you know the whole thing starts out basically there's a you know a hunter his name's darius and he's a part of a sacred lineage of hunters that 
uh, take their profession is a very sacred act. They go out into the universe or the galaxy and they hunt targets based off of, you know, jobs that they pick up. And it's, you know, it's very important to them to, to accomplish these missions so they could ultimately become the best warrior in the galaxy. Hmm. And Darius kind of stumbled. He's part of a select few that were previewed to these information across family generations um, about an ancient prophecy that they have to watch out for, which is the end of days. Uh, this galaxy is dying. And he ultimately starts stumbling upon this information uh, that leads him to believe that this is the, the prophecy that's coming true. And the antagonist um, of the story, his name is Zin. He's ultimately trying to save the universe from something that happened long ago. So he's trying to change the galaxy. He doesn't believe it's dying. He believes it's, it, that it's already dead and that he's just trying to fix the wrongs that were, that were, you know, happened long ago. So they kind of clash in terms of protagonist and antagonist to try to ultimately see who wins in the end. Mm -hmm. And what is this prophecy this uh, guy is trying to achieve? Uh, yeah, so uh, the prophecy is called the Starfall prophecy, and ultimately, uh, for him, he he has to become a traitor uh, to his own sacred religion because he can't hunt anymore. He has to stop what he's doing and try to stop the prophecy. But in turn, you know, think of like a samurai; they're very, you know, very uh, religious in their their studies and their 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 martial arts and everything. So it's the same way with him. If he leaves this, he he's a traitor because he's not allowed to leave his profession, but he knows he has to to stop the prophecy. Mm -hmm. and, and you also mentioned, too, that these warriors go out there, you know, have these jobs to accomplish. What are these jobs and what are the purpose of their jobs? Yeah, so it, for, it can be for notoriety, but most of the time it's for uh, income. So if they're get, getting prize money, you know, in terms of, you know, how much they're getting in return. So if it's a large price, item they can it could be a capture mission it could be an elimination it could be you know uh, data collection so really so I, I built it out in the book so that these they're not just going out there constantly hunting to get rid of a target it, it, these can get very complex so it keeps the reader engaged um so really they have a wide range of, of tasks that they could do but mostly it's for money Mm -hmm. And is this like a bounty hunter type of mission or is it like, you know, for sport, like say go out hunting, you know, like you shoot elk, you shoot, um, you know, bear and try to get, get like the best possible. I'd say it probably leans more to bounty hunting. Um, there are occasions where like you might have a creature that, that might have a great grand reward in terms of like, notoriety, but uh, mostly it's for bounty hunting. OK. All right. And yeah. then we'll we'll talk more about the book um, Arconis with uh, Jordan Broody here on the Mike Wagner Show. But first, you are listening to the Mike Wagner Show at the Mike Wagner Show dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Whitener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia molson -Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia molson -Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia molson -Zia has garnered great reviews. And Eve Levin enjoys by how it's lovers, including Joanna Cassie, Forbes Riley, and Manales. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia molson -Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com or 40 podcast platforms heard in 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, also Apple Music, Odyssey, Amazon, Audible, BitChute, Rumble, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Also, follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Threads, and more. Make sure you take us with you on any mobile device. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also, T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. 
and support the Mike Weiner Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Weiner Show.com. We're here with our classical orchestra composer and novelist, Jordan Brody, here on the Mike Weiner Show with our colonists. And um, before we get back to the book as well, T, you've been a classical orchestra composer for quite some time. And, um, you know, tell us about your journey being a composer. Yes. So uh, I've been a composer most of my life, uh, kind of tinkering on you know, programs uh, on the old app computers when I was very young. And then as technology grew, I was able to really experiment with, you know, a lot of different orchestras. You could, you know, you could basically compose an entire orchestra now just based off a little keyboard and the software that you have on your computer. So it's amazing what you can do, but, you know, 20 years ago, I, you know, was just kind of tinkering around and playing on the keyboard and, and recording everything that I can and then trying to get better as time went on with technology. So it's, uh, it's been quite the ride. Mm -hmm. You've been a classical composer for quite some time. Who are you seeing me a favorite uh, composers growing up? Well, um, besides the John Williams and the model ones, how about some of the others? Yeah, of course. Um, uh, yeah. So we have John Williams. Um, uh, yeah. We have Hans Zimmer, some of my favorites, uh, you know, just, you know, in terms of, of, you know, just how epic the sounding the sounds are memorable sounds you know you have jurassic park you have interstellar you have you know these really big films that that left big marks in terms of of uh of, of the music because you know a lot of the time music is what makes some some of these pictures come to life and that's what i wanted to do with the, the novel itself was try to help it come to life with with with, with that and those composers really helped me mm -hmm. and you he, he also been a science fiction for, fan for quite some time like star wars star trek and you know you know how'd you first get inspired by all that if there's other science fiction you, want, you can talk about it as well yeah of course uh just you know like um keeping it very simple like my favorite character growing up was uh bubba fett which is you know a very iconic character from star wars and you know i was a bounty hunter and you know i think that he is more of uh simplistic innate like they then you know in terms of he was just a bounty hunter on the surface but i wanted to explore that world of you know making a complex character based off of that original love that i had for for bubba fett but just kind of expand upon that and make a deep character based around that type of genre mm -hmm. now, now was it that character in particular that you had a love for bounty hunters or was it before that and how did it how do you first uh, you know come up with the idea of uh, bounty hunters yeah, uh, I would say that he probably came up from that um, primarily, yeah. And then it kind of started morphing into its own character. Um, you know, I would I got the idea from Bubba Fett, like the profession. But then I once I started diving into it, I said, well, this is, you know, I've created so much for this character that he's, he's very unique in, in his own way right now. So this is, you know, that's kind of how the birth of the character came to life. Mm -hmm. And he also been uh, writing for a little bit as well, too. How about some of your favorite writers growing up? Yeah, of course. Um, so I love Dune. Uh, I think that Dune is a great uh, science fiction novel. Uh, I love uh, Game of Thrones, which is another. Uh, I mean, that's fantasy based, but I think that fantasy and science fiction kind of go to, you know, hand in hand. So, you know, those mixing those two together, mixing fantasy and science fiction a little bit. Uh, you know, really kind of gives you a new perspective in terms of writing. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly does as well, too, that uh, you also have like a unique twist. It's like, you know, you know, accomplishing a lot of things. And um, how, how did this uh, epic uh, trilogy or soon to be basically just um, stands out from the rest? So what would make it like, you know, completely distinct uh, from the other trilogies that you um, you know, see out there, that special in the media, the press or even on uh, the Internet, Netflix and more? Yeah, of course. So this is its own universe, right? There's not that many own universes out there besides, you know, you know Star Wars and, um, you know, mostly, you know, that's the big name of Star Wars. I mean, a lot of the stories relate to Earth or maybe Earth in the future or something like that. I wanted to create its own universe, a completely 100% uh, crafted universe. So I think it separates itself in terms of being very unique in that aspect. And there's a lot of world building and lore that goes along with that so the you know keep the readers engaged and uh they can understand the histories there's a lot of history in the books and stuff like that so i think that it being completely original is something that's going to get stand out 
Mm-hmm. And of course, you mentioned Star Wars having its own unique universe, Star Trek having its own unique universe. You know, they yeah. have different universes to describe. How would you describe this particular universe you would have in Arconis? Like, how would you uh, describe the universe itself? In terms yeah, of settings, cities, culture, lifestyle, the people, or you know, schools, education, the government, and everything. You know, you know, like kind of Star Wars and all right. So how how is this like you know completely different and unique from all that? Right. I mean, it's I think it's kind of it's pretty dark and gritty. Mm. Uh, you know, it's dangerous. I mean, you know, it, it's it takes it takes a hunter just to survive in some of these places. Uh, so it's you know, it's a pretty dark place, and you know. Of course, this home world is, is a nice world to be on. However, the universe can be very dark and and dangerous. And that's kind of how it's painted throughout the book, just because of the situations they get into. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, you have the leaders as well, too, ruling the universe and Underwood. And uh, how, how are the leaders uh, portrayed, and especially the uh, government? Yeah, so it shows that, you know, there are multiple governments in the story. Um, and there is, I mean, not to jump into the, the next couple novels but it does get into the details of you know is there corruption is there things happening within the governments that led to certain wars and things like that that will kind of unveil themselves in the next books Mm -hmm. and of course you know we will go over the uh, next two books as well too with uh, jordan broody of um arconis we'll find out and what they are in a bit of detail we'll find out just one minute you listen to the mike wagner show at the mike wagner show.com powered by soundwave studios and brought to you by official sponsor of the mike wagner show international warring author mia muslin zia missing we'll be back with now classical orchestra composer and author of the book arconis uh jordan broody after this time the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios if you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today mention the mike wagner show and get 20 percent off your project Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to The Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back. We're now classical orchestra composer and the author of Arconis, Jordan Brody, here on The Mike Wagner Show. And um, you talk about uh, how this is a trilogy, and you got books two and three in the works, and just a bit more on books two and three. And what can we expect? Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, so in books two and three, uh, it gets even darker for the the main character. I mean, he's going to struggle beyond imagination in terms of what he has to go through to get to his goals. So it gets, you know, he has a salvation in his hands uh, and it's, it's it, you know, it comes, it's very dangerous in terms of his fate. And it's going to, I think for the reader, it's going to be very intense uh, in terms of, uh, what they get into and, and how dark the story gets. Mm-hmm. And, and what else do you want the readers to, uh, to get from the, the book and the trilogy? Uh, I want them to get some of the underlying messaging, uh, you know, in terms of what I put in the book uh, for the types of themes. So I want them to hopefully take some of the messaging away from it, uh, from the themes that I put in the book. Yeah. Okay. And where can I find uh, Arcanist and all your works at? Yeah, uh, so it's published on Amazon and Barnes & Noble currently. Okay, well, certainly check that out. We're here with uh, author Jordan Broody of Ar- Arcanist here on the Mike Wagner Show. And, um, you know, with Ar- Arcanist and everything else, what else can we expect from you in 2024 and beyond, Jordan? Yeah, so my goal by the end of the year is to have the second book out. Uh, and then next year I'll have the final book out uh, for, to complete the trilogy. 
Okay, we'll certainly check that out. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Uh, probably, uh, probably say my mom. Okay. All right. Yeah. And what's and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Yeah, I would say just be consistent. You know what I mean? Especially if you're writing something, the hardest part is actually sitting down and doing it. And I think that's the toughest thing. I mean, you could have a great idea, but just stay consistent in your work. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure the characters can help you out with that one. If you need some help from uh, Boba Fett and all that, I'm sure you can turn to them. So, <laughs> yep, <laughs> definitely. We're here with the author Jordan Broody of Arcanus here on the Mike Wagner Show. And uh, Jordan, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Learned a lot. Looking forward to having it soon. Can't wait for the next two books to come out. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Love to have you back. Once again, what's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your book? Yeah, they could go to Arconis.com uh, or they could go on Amazon or Barnes & Noble and look for Arconis on there and then they could purchase from, uh, if they want to uh, from those locations. And what's the website again? It is Arconis.com. Arconis.com. We will certainly check that out. Once again, join a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back. We wish all best. And Jordan, you definitely have a great future have you. Thank you. I appreciate it. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I wanna give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. Brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosin Zia of Missing. And powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms. And of course, on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net, and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>